G'day, Graham here. Well, I'm here today to weigh myself again, and I think I'm under 200. That would be excellent. You see, I haven't been under 200 kilos for eight years, so it's been a rather psychological barrier. So, okay, let's see if I'm under 200 kilos. Whoa. -ho. All right. Let's see. Yeah, come on. <gasps> Look at that. 198 kilos. Yay. Yay. Hoo -hoo. Wow, my friends. Isn't that amazing? Now, I feel like sort of jumping up and down and screaming, but there's working people here at the Dietetics place at the hospital, so I can't scream too much, right? But 198 kilos. Wow! Now, gone are the days where I used to believe that those scales never went below 230 kilos. So, I feel pretty good. Now, my friends, the highest weight I've ever been is 263 kilos. And th here's the photograph of what I used to look like. Wow! Isn't that amazing? I look like Jabba the Hutt! Anyway, my friends, how did I get so fat? Well, after my father died, I couldn't handle the emotions of grief. And you know, in my generation, big boys didn't cry. So I ate because I couldn't cry. Anyway, so I had an addiction to food and an abnormal sort of love affair with food, which a lot of people have. It's a bit like this clip. Yes, I know, it's pretty bad, eh? So what happened? I had this addiction to food, and within a very short time, I became extremely obese. A bit like this clip. Wow, isn't that amazing? So my friends, I'm now only 198 kilos. It's great, I feel so much better. So in my next video, I'll make it when I'm 190. Now, that would be good. So, anyway, my friends, I have a lot of friends in New Zealand. So I want to give a shout out to one of my good mates. His name is Matt. He's a good guy for a Kiwi. So anyway, Matt, I've changed my call off sign just for you for this video. Anyway, my friends, take care. Stay safe. Bah, for now. Write <laughs> me, comment me, love me, and soon.